Hello all. Welcome to the video on the navigation view. I am Annie from Smart Hut. In this video, we will be learning about a new feature provided by the Android Material Design Support Library, that is the navigation view. Let us proceed to see what navigation view is. Navigation view is a standard navigation menu for application. It provides us with a menu which we can show below our header and define the menus in a menus folder, just like we do for our overflow menu. It includes the navigation view inside the drawer layout. It is an advanced version of it. The menu contents in the navigation view are populated by the menu resource file. Like I already said, like we set the menu for the overflow menu, the menu for the navigation view will also be set in the menus folder. The navigation view consists of two parts. One is the menu and the second is the header layout. On the left side of the screen, you can see the Gmail application which has the navigation view. This is the header layout which has an image. In the Gmail application, it has the name of the user and the Gmail ID. And below that, we can see there is the menu that is provided in the navigation view. This is the navigation drawer items. Here we will see the demo of the application that we will be designing while learning navigation view. The types of the navigation view are the items only, items grouped and items grouped with header. On the left side of the screen, you can see the items only navigation view. Here, the menu items are simply displayed. They are plain and there are no separation or grouping of the items. This is the demo application that we will be having for items grouped. We can see the items being grouped into their respective categories. The social networking sites, the organs in the human body, the exercises and various other items. We can see the menu items are grouped in the navigation view. The third type of navigation view are items grouped with header. On the left side of the screen, we can see each of the grouped items are provided with their respective headers. This is the type of the navigation view with headers and items grouped. This is the demo application that we will be creating while learning the navigation view. Now let us move to Android Studio and start implementing the codes for the navigation view. In this video, I'll be showing you the basic setup that is required for implementing the navigation view. And from the next video onwards, we will be implementing the codes for the navigation view. I have created a new project named navigation view. And from the project hierarchy, we have come here. In the app directory, in the build.gradle file, you need to include these dependencies in order to implement the navigation view in your application. com.android.support design 25.0.0 After the build.gradle file, in the source directory, in the main, in the resource folder, for the drawable folder, I have added the images of the icon that we will be using in the menu. As we saw in the navigation view in the menu, the items have an icon and its title. So for the icon, we need the images in the drawable folder. These are the images that we have for our menu items. And the background for the header is header background.jpg. This is the background that we will be having as the background image in our header for the navigation view. After the drawable folder, in the layout folder, we have activity main.xml. The codes here are untouched. We will be writing codes in activity main.xml in our upcoming videos. In the values folder, for colors.xml, I have chosen this colors for my color primary, color primary dark, color ascent, and text color primary. You can have it of your own choice. In the styles.xml file, I have defined our theme. 
So this is the basic project setup that we require for the navigation view. In our next video, we will be implementing some advanced codes for the navigation view for its implementation in our application. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and have a good day.